Hey guys, so watching G-Shack Tech, and today we'll be doing another Mac OS X Helpful Hints episode, so let's get started. So first up today, I want to show you guys how to schedule your computer to, to turn on and off whenever you want it to do uh, for specific times, weekdays, weekends, whatever you want it to be able to schedule your computer. So to do this, you want to go down into your system preferences, open that up. Then you want to go into energy saver and this new um, display will come up sh um, sh showing you guys computer sleep, uh, timeline, display sleep, timeline, as well as some, a few check boxes for other properties within energy saver, putting the hard disk to sleep and possible wake for network access. And so most of you guys have probably used that a whole bunch, um, telling you when your computer to sleep and whatnot. But what you guys might not have known about, um, something that I didn't know about for a very long time, I just figured out a couple of days ago, is the schedule button down here. Click on that, and this new um, pop-down menu will, will come down, allowing you to schedule your computer to start up or wake, or sleep, restart, or shut down. Um, it's a very simple um, concept um, in the Energy Saver settings preferences. Um, check box, check the box you want um, to to work um, I, ch I chose both of them start up or wake up and you can choose weekdays weekends every day Monday through Monday through Sunday and it's specific time I have 222 that's just the number that's just the time I chose because around the time I come home from school so when I get home my computer is already on and running already ready for me to go um, so I don't have to turn it on wait for it to load and all that case couple, takes like 10 minutes or so to turn on and fully be ready to go you can also ha check the box for sleep restart or shut down same exact timeline for that as well and so I did 12 a.m. I don't know that's just what it gave me and so you can potentially um, set it up so you can always have your computer on whenever you're around so you can turn make it turn off whenever you go to bed you can have it turn on whenever you get to go home so it's actually a very efficient way to having your computer turn on and off and then and as the name says it saves energy um, so that's the way you schedule your computer to turn on and off whenever you want it to and so here's the computer scheduled to be turning on in a couple seconds, so it should turn on in a couple seconds. And there it is. The second thing I want to show you guys today complements this energy saver of scheduling your computer is having login applications turn on whenever you log in. So to do this, you want to go back into the system preferences, go into users and groups, go into your your current user go into login items and this list of applications will pop down um, with boxes that can be checked or unchecked and these applications that you do check will turn on immediately once you log into your account or turn on your computer so what I mean by complements your schedule so once you have your computer turn on by itself you can have applications turn on by itself so you can have your mail um, geek tool camouflage to turn on by itself those are things that run in the background that you don't necessarily use all the time but you need it in the background and you might forget about it if you have to wait for it to load up and might take a long time to sync load or whatnot you can just have it by have you you can just have the computer do it by itself so it's very simple to add or delete applications from this list all you gotta do is go down here hit the plus button choose application check the check the box and you can delete um the item just by selecting it and hitting the minus button to the right of the plus button and so that's how you have um, certain applications turn on when you log into your um, account or turn on your computer and so that's how you um, schedule your computers as well as having certain applications turn on and lastly for today I want to show you guys the new QuickTime um, screen recording options um, within Mac OS 10 Lion as you guys mo mostly as you guys probably know, Mac OS X Lion is the next generation Mac OS um, from Apple released, I think, like two or three months ago. And as you and a whole bunch of new applications and features were updated with this next, gener next generation OS. And one of those applications that was updated was QuickTime. So to get to QuickTime, I gotta do find it whether that be through the spotlight in your dock in the applications folder click on QuickTime. No actual browser or window will actually pop up on the desktop. It will all your um, stuff that's going to be done is going to be done through the toolbar. So you want to go into File, and here it is, and here it is. You can do movie recording, audio recording, screen recording. But that's already that you guys probably know that's already been done with past QuickTimes. But with QuickTime X, the newest version of QuickTime, you can have new features within the screen screen recording um, option of QuickTime, which I use most often. So you want to do is click on it, and the new and the 
and the black box will come up with record with the record button volume and your um your volume down here and most of you guys have probably seen that box before if you use quick time screen recording before this and the new stuff comes in with this arrow um, as you know, you can use a microphone with QuickTime, and you can change the quality medium to high. And here's one of the new op one of the new options within the QuickTime X is showing mouse clicks in recording, as well as you can choose the save to and other stuff like that. The second new thing um, in QuickTime X is the ability to record part of the screen rather than the full screen. So as you know, with previous versions of QuickTime, you can only record the full screen, and that was it. You had to cut. Um, cut the actual video whether it be an iMovie other video editing software with QuickTime but now you can do that directly within QuickTime so it's very simple the directions say it right on the screen drag to record part of the screen so to do that all you gotta do is click drag and so say that's all I want to record is within that highlighted box and that's all it will all it will record I am not sure what it does to the dimensions or the actual quality of the video but it does seem from past tests that it does seem quite normal and so that is the new QuickTime X from Mac OS X Lion, the ability to, to record part of the screen as well as having mouse clicks and different options within QuickTime. It's nothing totally new, nothing really revolutionary as Apple would say. Um, some of you guys would say, oh, ScreenFlow and other things have already done that way, way before QuickTime has ever done this. But QuickTime, in a sense, is free um, if you buy Mac OS X Lion for the $30.00. It does come free with Mac OS X Lion, um, so that sense it does it does give a little bit better options for a free screen recorder than most ones I found on the internet. That's pretty much it for this episode. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Check my channel DShack Tech and subscribe to be notified for my semi-daily tech-related videos. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.